Hey guys, it's Kareem here from Chisel. Determining what features should be developed is one of the largest responsibilities of any organization. In today's video, we're going to show you how to use Chisel's roadmap pillar in order to effectively rate, prioritize, and keep track of the various features that you are working on. Our features pillar helps you make decisions backed by quantifiable metrics, letting you get back to crafting amazing products. Let's pretend that we are the product manager of a file transfer app and we want to use Chisel to help us manage our progress. Let's start the video by going to Chisel's tree view. The tree view lets you see and manage all the different products that you have. In order to view a specific product, click on the rectangle here and a drop down menu will appear with all the products that you've created. If you wish to create a new product, simply click on the create a new product button on the top left of the screen to the right of the product selector. Once you do, a text field will appear, letting you enter the name of your product. Once you've chosen a name you like, simply hit enter and the product will be created. Once you've created your product, you can add features and components that correspond to the parts of your product that you wish to prioritize. Components are a group of related features that aim to fulfill a large goal. Features are individual action items that add some functionality to your product. One large aspect of our file transfer application is the ability to easily and quickly share files that you have uploaded. Let's create a component to track the progress of this part of our product. In order to add a component, simply click on the plus button next to your project. Once you do, a text field will appear, letting you enter the name of your component. In order to save the component, hit enter. Currently, we've planned two different ways of sharing files, getting a link or sharing with other users directly on the platform. Let's add these features under our component. Adding a feature is almost identical to adding a component. Next to your component, a plus button will appear. Click it and a text box will appear, letting you enter the name of your feature. In order to save the feature, just hit enter. Features in Chisel are very powerful. By clicking on a feature in the tree view, you bring up the feature side panel. In the side panel, you can do many things such as assign a feature to a specific person, add a label to a feature, add start and end dates to a feature, and attach a file. Now that we have added features to our project, we can go ahead and try and prioritize them. Chisel helps you prioritize features by giving each feature a prioritization score located in the purple hexagon based on four different subcomponents, customer value, customer reach, customer revenue, and effort required. Customer value represents the value that implementing this feature will bring to the affected customer. Customer reach represents how many people will be impacted or use a specific feature. Revenue represents how much implementing a feature will help the organization's earnings. The effort required represents how long in person days it will take you to implement the feature. However, if you don't feel these driver values reflect your own prioritization model, you can change them by clicking on the name of one of the drivers and entering a new name. In order to save the name, simply click off or hit enter. In order to rate customer value, customer reach, or revenue, simply click on one of the five dots that you feel is representative, where one dot is the lowest score you can give and five dots is the highest score you can give. In order to rate effort required, simply click on it and a drop down will appear, letting you determine approximately how many person days, number of people working on your project, times the number of days working on a project, is required for the feature to be completed. In addition to being able to provide you with a prioritization score, Chisel also lets you add various personal objectives that you can track for each feature. In order to add an objective, click on the icon next to objectives and a side panel will appear. By clicking on Add Another Objective, a text box will appear letting you enter the name of the objective. Finish adding the objective by hitting Enter. You can rate a feature on an objective by clicking on the corresponding element and a field will appear letting you enter a value. Now that we have our features rated and tracked on key objectives, we need to figure out when they should be released. Thankfully, Chisel also supports letting you add releases and tracking them in the release view. Adding a release is just like adding an objective. Clicking on the icon next to releases will bring up a side panel. By clicking on add releases, a text box will appear, letting you enter the name of the release. Finish adding the release by clicking on the purple add release button or by hitting enter. You can add a feature to a specific release by clicking on the box that corresponds to that release. Once a feature is assigned to a release, you can use the release view. In the release view, there are columns that represent the different releases that have been added. The rows of the release view are the various components that have been created. 
If you wish to change the release that the feature is in, you can either click another box in the tree view, or you can simply drag the feature to a different release in the release view. In addition to prioritizing features and tracking objectives and releases, Chisel also gives you the ability to create certain dependencies that need to be completed for a feature. In order to add a dependency, simply click on the icon next to dependencies at the top of the screen. Once you do, a side panel will appear with the purple add another dependency button. Simply click on the button and a text field will prompt you to enter the name of the dependency. Click add dependency to confirm and the dependency will be added. By default, dependencies have five different states they can be in. Not needed, planned, in progress, blocked, and completed. If you feel that you need to add another state, simply click on the add another dependency status and a text field will appear prompting you to enter the name of the status. Click add another dependency status or hit enter when you're done. In order to change the state of a dependency, simply click on the dependency corresponding to a specific feature. Once you do, a dropdown will appear letting you change the state. Another popular view in Chisel's feature pillar is the Kanban view. The Kanban view gives you a customizable Kanban board to help with agile development. The columns of the Kanban board are the various statuses that the feature is in, while the rows of the Kanban board represent the various different components of the product. You can create a column in the Kanban board by clicking on the Add a New Status button at the top of the screen. Once you do, a text field will appear, letting you enter the name of the status. Once you type in a name you like, hit Add Status and the status will be saved. In order to move a feature from one status to another, simply drag and drop it. Congratulations! You now know how to use Chisel's Roadmap Pillar in order to prioritize efficiently. That's everything. Thank you so much for watching, and see you in the next video.